Hello everyone, Night of the Dead has been released into 1.0. This game is a combination of a tower defense as well as survival. It's been on my radar for a little while because it sounds really damn interesting. So I checked the patch notes and it looked like 1.0 just finished the story but didn't really do much else. Which is a thing that I always find interesting with developers. Sometimes the big full release 1.0 update is massive, adds a lot of things, reworks a couple systems. But then other times they don't really add that much, just finishing up and polishing. Which I guess is fine, but it doesn't feel like this big celebratory update. Unless the story of this game is really damn good. Alright, well here we are. I played a bit for the tutorial, just to kind of get all the boring stuff out of the way, because we don't want to see that. So I've started to construct a little base. The game is kind of interesting though, because you cannot build any walls or something, or at least not yet. But it's really heavy on the defensive options, which I suppose makes sense. And then over time it looks like you unlock more. But yeah, it makes sense that it's very heavily made for defensive structures, just due to the whole tower defense nature, I suppose. Something I do feel that is kind of weird is you had to upgrade these workstations really damn quickly, which while that is fine, I feel like that should have been something you did over the course of the game and not all in one go. Because this one, for example, the material production workbench, I've already maxed this one out and those were quests from the tutorial. But anyway, right now we're gonna have to look for some research data, which I'm pretty sure you can find in POIs. I think this game could be a lot of fun with friends though, which uh, sadly I don't have, but I'll definitely force some of them to play it. Ooh, look at that armor. Is that any better than the armor I'm wearing? Protection, well, I don't have a helmet on anyway, so might as well take that. Iron necklace, gives me more defense, gives me less speed. I don't really know how this little lock pad it's gonna slow you down by a full 2%, but all right. Doesn't actually look that bad either. But we changed to more of a combat pilot, I would say. Ooh, he smashed his head and he had some research data on him. Damn, look at her go though. Kyla, damn. Calm down. Open the map to check your location and start moving. Open the map to check the location. Oh my god, she literally just said that, and then <laughs> she also says that. My god, all right, fine, I'll open the map. Say, our goal of the game is to find some uh, mutated substance, which should hopefully cure this zombie infection. We woke up from a cryogenic sleep, and to get off the island, we're gonna have to help this researcher, so she will send in a helicopter to get us out. I think for now I do want to get the research data going. Just to kind of take that off, it's only one more anyway. Oh my god, there's so many dudes. Oh, this one stomps. These zombies are quite... Did she just kick him in the balls? It looked like he was also holding on to his balls. Like, oh damn. If I saw that right, that is hilarious. Whoa, that's 14 of them. God damn. There's more research data over here. Okay, this house was pretty damn good. I didn't even have to go anywhere else. I would love to get like a little pin for my base here. Because I will be honest, I'll not remember where it is soon. And wants us to unlock engineering... What was it? Engineering graduate. So it takes a bunch of research data, some random ass supplies. Or is this going to give us the supplies? I guess this is going to teach us how to, right? An automated trap sounds pretty damn interesting, though. Crafting failed because I don't have the copper wire. We're going to need a lot more copper ore. There's probably better ways of gathering copper... I would imagine looting or breaking certain objects would give it as well. Oh, look at that. We learned how to make walls now. The thing I was uh, wondering about earlier. I can also make a flag. Yes, please. Another thing I was wondering about that I wish we would have. A lot of neat decorations. I think me and this game can get along pretty well because I do like a lot of decorations. However, at the moment, I'm looking for a chest or something like that. Ah, there it is. It was above the flag. I just didn't pay attention to it. My god, there's so many things. I only have enough for the cutting trap, which I guess I'll just place on here for now. This is not going to protect me, I will tell you that much. Uh, this entire base is pretty open. Oh, what the heck was that flip? That's pretty sick. Damn. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. I'll give the game that. God damn. Alright, I think instead of going out of my way to kill a rabbit, I'm just gonna go move towards that research center, see what's over there. Yep, pow! Alright, is this the research center up here? I think so. 
Oh, what the hell? Oh, there's some spitter guys, too. I'll save ya! Bep. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure how much saving that is, to be honest. Ooh, would you look at that? I broke a laptop and I got some copper wire from that. Where is the mutant substance storage? <laughs> I felt like tennis for a second, but tennis with a zombie. And this place is pretty good for, like, a bunch of craftable loot. Like, there's a bunch of nails, a bunch of other iron items. There's a uh, copper wires here. And even a coin. Which we can use to buy furniture, it looks like. Alright, I'm kind of having issues finding this substance at the moment. It says it should be somewhere on the second floor. I feel like I interacted with everything already. Military base access card. That could be interesting. Is this it? The mutant substance is broken. Unfortunately, according to the experiment log, there's a record of water agreeing to deliver the mutant substance to Dr. David. Let's ask Walter about this. What's up, Walter? What do you know? The mutant substance is destroyed? No problem. As long as I'm here, it's as good as found. You've seen the records, so you know. The fact that I delivered the mutant substance to Dr. David. Let's go to the hospital where Dr. David used to work. Alright, well. Walter's tone makes it hard to trust him. But for now, we have no choice but to follow Walter. I also wonder how large this map is, because it looks pretty damn big. We can explore everything that we can see, at least. I can already see the hospital from here, though it seems to be in the middle of a town. And on a similar note, Seven Days to Die towns are pretty bad, so I wonder if the same counts for this game. As the games do have a lot of similarities. Also, the combat isn't so bad. What the hell is this dude wearing? Yo, man, what the fuck's wrong with you? This guy was, uh, clearly doing something naughty in the bedroom before the fucking world went to shit. Oi. Ooh, I think I shocked his ass. The way he probably would have wanted to go out, to be fair. Let's see, we have to go to floor four. Let's find the stairs. Like, where the hell did she get that flipping baseball bat from? I want one of those. I found the stairs. Ouch, she's eating my flipping ankles, man. These crawly dudes are dangerous. David's diary shows that he never received the mutant substance. Walter lied. Damn it, Walter. I kind of expected that. Walter, scared of zombies, is hiding on the first floor of the hospital. If he's scared of zombies, though, what the heck is even coming with us here? And where is this? Fuck. Double fuck. Let's close that door. They have something above their head, which means they're probably special. And Kelly is going through another way in. Or I flank him. I think she's doing it. Bam! Alright, don't know why you're special. I didn't listen to that part of the explanation. Well, they don't seem to be that much harder, I will admit. Ah, uh, there's some restrooms around here, though. He's not hiding in this one. I do wish it was signed a bit better. Wouldn't make sense for a hospital, too. Oh, here he is. The truth is, I urgently needed money. I had no choice but to sell the mutant substance to Colonel Victor. It wasn't the right moment to talk about it earlier. Anyway... Colonel Victor is keeping the mutant substance in the military base instead of me. If you have to go to Colonel Victor's military base, you still need my help. So, our deal is still valid, right? It was just a minor communication error. You well. need an access card to enter the military base. I have the access card at my house. Well, I have an access card, my man. Oh my god. Kaylee. She's dying. Alright, let's revive her real quick. Don't want to go without her after all. Alright, move to Walter's house. I don't think we really need to, in my opinion, because I picked up the access card earlier, and this goes to the military base too. So it's not like Walter is that special, in all fairness. I suppose for the story, we'll have to go there. Also, him keeping it a secret, because it wasn't the right time to tell us, made no bloody sense. And I think this here, or is it the one next to it, is Walter's house? Maybe it's even farther, actually. Yeah, it is a little farther, okay. Oh, I see, you must have the fancy house at the end of the street. What the hell, man? Why does Walter have a dude like this right here? 
Ooh, that's not good. I'm about to die. Revive. There we go. Oh, damn, I died. But that dude did a lot of damage, though. God damn. Honestly, probably ranged weapons. Probably a better idea against that guy. We're just sneaking in. So let's start snapping this man. There we go. A bunch of research data, though, which is nice. All right, Walter. Where the hell are you at, man? Jesus Christ. There's more zombies in his home. And a party was his men given. Man, there he is. They changed clothes real quick, too. Now, you go and get the mutant substance from Victor. I'll wait at the safe house I usually use for transactions. There are various items there, so if you need anything, come find me. Of course, it's not for free. You might have to do a small favor for me. I'll mark the location of the safe house on the map you have. Take the access card from the clothes next to you and leave immediately. The hell, man. Why is Walter such a dick? All right, instead of moving towards the military base, I'm going to leave it off over here. It's a pretty fun game. I do think I should probably spend a bit more time actually def making a proper base right now. But it's fine because I'll probably restart with a friend anyway. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.